Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. You may have heard the expression, actions speak louder than words. What does that really mean? One definition states a person's actions are more impactful than their words alone. I say a person's actions are more believable than their words because behavior reveals what is really going on with and within a person. There's a quote that words are from the lips, actions are from the heart. In other words, your behavior shows your true intentions. There's another quote, don't let someone's words blind you from their behavior. I say unless their mind is impaired by drugs or something else, trust the behavior. I have found that a person's behavior will tell you everything you need to know about them, about your relationship, and how they feel about you. For instance, if someone says they love or value you, but they never have time to talk to you or be with you, you might question their love for you. I say you absolutely should question it because their actions don't correspond with what they are saying. Love is not just a word. It is an action word. In this case, you should believe the other person's behavior to avoid a letdown by the fact that your relationship is likely one-sided. Now, we are not talking about a person who normally shows their love for you, but is going through a busy or a difficult season, and they may just not have much time for you during that period. Their expressions of love and devotion in that case are not insincere or incongruent with their actions. That person has already proven him or herself so you don't have to question their intentions or motives. I'm talking about a person that consistently doesn't have time for you or who consistently doesn't show up for you, but who claims to have your back, to be your friend, or to love you dearly. Pay more attention to what they do than what they say, especially when their actions and words contradict each other. Dr. Maya Angelou is quoted as saying, when people show you who they really are, believe them the first time. Notice that quote says, when people show you, not tell you, who they are. People really do show you who they are by their behavior and their actions. Sometimes we're, you know, we're just not paying attention or we don't want to believe what their actions are telling us. Oftentimes, if their words are different, you know, we'll put blinders on, especially with people closest to us. I really think it's human nature to want to believe the best about people, even if they're showing us something completely different. So we tend to, you know, justify obvious discrepancies with thoughts and phrases like, well, they made a mistake. I know they say one thing and do another, but, you know, they always apologize um, or, you know, but they love me. But, you know, that's my friend or whatever we come up with to, to justify the dichotomy that is obviously in front of us. I believe so many of us have to unlearn, unlearn this way of dealing with people and start believing people's actions over their words, especially when there's a pattern of behavior that does not match up with what is being said. We have to learn, I think, that people will always show you how they really feel about you, no matter what they say to you. There's a quote, actions prove who someone is. Words prove who someone pretends to be. Another quote, Characterize people by their actions, and you will never be fooled by their words. I know that people can say the most convincing things in the most convincing ways, and it makes it very hard not to believe what they say. But even the Bible says in the book of James that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. An unstable man cannot be trusted. You can't count on his or her consistency. I always say either you like me or you don't. There are no shades of gray as far as I'm concerned when it comes to relationships. Either you are in or you're out. Either you're committed or you're not. Either you're my friend or you aren't. There's no sort of friend, sort of friend or fair weather friend in my life. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm not accepting, you know, shades of gray because the way I see it, gray has a little bit of white and a little bit of black in it. It's both light and dark. Well, that's concerning to me because I don't know where you stand and I can't trust what you say because you're gray. 
I did a little rhyme there, but hopefully you get my point. I can't trust what you say because you're gray. God himself said in the book of Revelation that he'll reject you if you're lukewarm in your feelings towards him. He says you have to be hot or cold. Make a choice. He also says in Joshua, the book of Joshua, to choose life or death. There's no in-between. So why should we accept less in our relationships with each other? Imagine saying one thing and doing another in any other scenario or construct in your life other than, you know, relationships. For instance, if you go to a store and say, I'm going to buy a particular item that costs, you know, $13 because I really want it and I love it. But when you reach the register, you only give the cashier $8 for something that costs, you know, $13. The cashier really won't care about what you say because your actions indicate that you can't back up or do what you say. So the cashier, you know, might think, well, you might love it and you might even want it, but you can't have it because you can't pay for it. You're not willing to pay the price to possess the thing you want. Why should relationships be any different? In some ways, relationships are transactional. You know, I invest time, energy, et cetera, in you and you do the same for me. When it's time for you to invest, if all you come up with are empty words and broken promises and no actions to back up what you say, then the other person will stop believing, you know, that you're investing in them because you're not willing to pay the price to be in a relationship with them. And they can't trust anything you say. It really is that simple. Ralph Waldo Emerson said that what you do speaks so loudly that I cannot hear what you say. My dearly departed grandmother would always say, who you are speaks so loudly, it'll tell on itself. That has always stuck with me. I promise you will avoid a whole lot of heartache and pain if you let people say whatever they want to say, but watch and take stock in what they do. Put your bet on their behavior because that is who they really are. I am in what I call the second half of life, meaning I've lived more years than I have in front of me. But I call myself a student these days. When it comes to people, relationships, and situations, I, I mostly observe and I take notes, mental notes. I hear what people say, but I watch for and I trust what they do to be who they really are and how they really feel about me. There's a quote, you are what you do, not what you say. Another quote, you will preach a much better sermon with your life than with your lips. Yet another quote, people may doubt what you say, but they will always believe what you do. Benjamin Franklin said, well done is better than well said. I have found this quote to be true when it comes to choosing between believing people's actions or words. Because as another quote says, a wise person speaks first with his actions and second with his mouth. The goal in relationships is to do the right things, not necessarily say the right things. It's great if you have both, if you do and say the right things. But my overall point is that the best case scenario in any relationship or transaction is when a person's words match their actions. However, because, you know, human beings are complex people and and we're not forthcoming for so many reasons, sometimes what we do does not in any way match what we say. And all I'm saying is if you have to choose which to believe, if you have to make a choice, words or actions, believe what they do over what they say. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.